Hello. Meet our good friend Scott. When Scott and Connor weren't making skateboarding films, they would go camping and hang out in nature. Connor became an expert in fruit trees, and Scott became an expert in fungi, and is now involved in the naming of new species and their classification. is like coming up with a name or at least initially a provisional name um, because it doesn't become solidified until you have a published paper on it and then it gets accepted as like a legitimate taxon or species by academic organizations and so there are some rules with giving something a name you can't name it after yourself and it has to be in latin or greek and then obviously you know whatever like family or genus it's in you know you can't change that it's got to stay in there but then you come up with the species name and typically the species name will reflect some characteristic of the mushroom that distinguishes it from other closely related, um, in this case, mushrooms. So in my case, the, uh, the mushroom I found is consistently almost albino looking. It would be technically considered leucistic because albino would mean like all features are just completely white. But, um, in this case, it's just mostly white except for the gills underneath and the spores. And so the name it's still a provisional name right now. It's going under the provisional name uh, Nivio Tropicalis in Latin. Nivio means white or snow white or snow, I believe. Um, and then Tropicalis, tropical, is found in a tropical or subtropical location. That is South Florida. And so that was my intro to getting into all since I made that discovery, I've also had to learn about DNA sequences and analyzing them, which I had to do, you know, all self-taught. I didn't go to school or anything for this, but so for the last few years, I've learned how to do this. Now, in the last month, month and a half or so, I have procured a job putting these skills to work and making money with it. So I currently work for an organization called Fundus. It stands for Fungal Diversity Survey. And they're based in California. And this organization has hired people to go out throughout the entire state of California and collect, photograph, and make observations of pretty much every mushroom they find. They're collecting them, they're drying them, they're being retained in a state herbarium and they're all being sent out for DNA sequencing and then once we get the results of the DNA sequences there's a team of what we're calling DNA sequence validators that gets all that data and I have to go through it and if necessary clean up the DNA sequence or sometimes stitch it together and then run it through various databases to see what the closest matches are and then comparing those dna sequences as well as any like morphological features of the mushrooms to see if they are the same thing or if they're different how different and then i have to assign a name to it whether it's an already established name or if it is without a doubt different and there are no matches then I have to come up with a provisional name for these mushrooms and have it reflected in these databases and the goal is just to create a uh, outline of the biodiversity in the state of California wow pretty awesome right now the main focus is just basically how many different kinds of mushrooms do we have in the state of California Interesting. And here you are in Florida, 
working on this right. project. Right. Fantastic.